sure you've heard of the Titanic, but have you heard of Titanic? It is a new musical comedy playing off-Broadway. The show is not to be missed, and I'm about to show you why. Titanic is a 90-minute waterfall of joy. It is a sleigh fest. It combines the movie Titanic with Celine Dion songs. It's two recognizable brands. What more can you want? What a better character to play than oh. Celine Dion. My idol. So in this version, she thinks she was on the actual Titanic, and she uses her songs to tell the story of the movie Titanic. People are just jamming out the whole time. It's really, really fun. How did you get her voice down? I, at first I was, I have to be honest with you, I was so scared. I was like, I can't do this, I can't do this. I'll never be here, she's the greatest singer of all time. And then I started watching her and I realized, oh my God, Marla, you're in love with her. You've always been in love with her because she's such an icon. So just channel your version of her. Celine, it's me, Celine. It's both of us at the same time, Celine. You have to see the show. Come on, girlfriend. How are you? Let's go see Titanic at the Asylum Theater, okay? Show me up for it. also really, really near and dear to your heart. Sure. You are one of the co-writers on this. This has been a long way coming. It has, it really has. I uh, was in New York doing Broadway shows with a bunch of the people in the show. We all moved to Los Angeles. We were like, screw it, we're gonna be Hollywood stars. Well, it took a while. <laughs> so we were performing in dinner theater in Los Angeles. And one day, Constantine Rasuli, who plays Jack Dawson, came up to me. He was like, okay, the next musical that we should do here in Los Angeles is Titanic with all Celine Dion songs, and you're gonna be Celine Dion. And I was like, okay, great never ever gonna happen. And then we just started writing it for fun. And then long story short, five years later, we're here with Broadway producers attached at the Asylum Theater. I mean, it, it's truly a dream come true. It's so surreal. We have our iconic Heart of the Ocean necklace, which is insane. This is <laughs> incredible. Uh, do you wanna put it on? Absolutely. Can I put it on you? Yes, I, and so, and I wanna mention that not only are you playing Jack in this, but you're also a co-writer yes. with Marla. Co-wrote wow. this wonderful, crazy kookery fest. So our show is very much highbrow, lowbrow, and we, we mix up, you know, incredible costumes, lighting and sound, but also have some pretty ratchet, um, fun, comedic, uh, <laughs> You know, props. Can we on three say, did you think there was room or oh, no room? Yeah. One, two, three. Room. Yes. <laughs> As in, yes, there's room. I love this, like, super casual yeah, so part of the ocean over here. It's very casual. It's nonchalant. You will never know it's there. Yeah. So if there is one thing you would want everybody to know about this show, about Titanic, what would it be? We want people to come and have a good time. Forget about the craziness of the world for 90 minutes and come in here with a clear mind. Get back to a fun place in, there, in the past of nostalgia and familiarity with this beautiful film and Celine Dion music and just have the best time. Can Celine take us out with a little something? You're here, <laughs> there's nothing I feel, and I know that my heart will go on. I love you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs>